Welcome for math lesson. Uh, I'm going to teach longitudes and latitudes, which is a book four topic. Uh, for any contact, you can reach me through zero seven. case of any consultations kindly this is my phone number so I want us to go straight to <coughs> longitudes and latitudes longitudes and latitudes distance Along longitudes, distance along longitudes. In other words, we call it great surface. So when we have the sphere of the earth. run from the north pole to the south pole are called longitudes or meridians. These are all longitudes. Can I have others on the west? So these lines which run from the north pole to the south pole, we call them meridians but we have a special meridian which is zero degrees which is zero degrees therefore all the other meridians are named with reference to prime meridian so from prime meridian we can have other meridians so is either to the east or to the west either to the east or to the west of Prime Meridian, which is also called Greenwich Meridian. <coughs> so we we'll talk of maybe 20 degrees in the east. That means east of Prime Meridian. Or another one here, which is 40 degrees to the west. So we mean 40 degrees west of Greenwich Meridian. Therefore, uh, now that we've known what meridians are or what longitudes are, we can now consider the distance <coughs> the distance along meridians. The distance along meridians. So let's consider this case. Whereby from zero degrees meridian, we have the center of the earth here, center of the earth. Therefore, we can have the equator here. We can have the equator here. Zero degrees equator. So equator is a small circle or a latitude. It's a special latitude which is zero degrees. And all the other latitudes, are named either some degrees to the north, like this one can be 45 degrees north of equator, or another one here, which is around 60 degrees to the south of equator. So we have a special latitude called equator, zero degrees, and all the other latitudes can either be above equator, that is north of equator, or below equator, that is south hemisphere of the earth. Therefore now, 
if we got two places, if we got two places, let's say a place on this latitude, place on this latitude, and this longitude, such that a place A is here, marked there, then another place B to be somewhere there, another place B to be somewhere. So you see, it is possible from point A, we can join it to the center of the half using a straight line like that, such that from zero degrees meridian, we have some degrees to the south. Eh? An angle here, you can call it alpha. Then to point B, we can again connect it with a straight line from the center of the earth, such that we have another angle data there. Therefore, you find from A to B, we are forming an arc. We are forming an arc of a circle. So this is a great circle whereby from A to B it's an arc length and from A to the center of the earth and from B to the center of the earth radius capital R which is the radius of the earth radius capital R radius of the earth. This means that we can get this arc length just the way we get the length of other arcs for a given circle. Therefore considering the whole longitude, then we can say this fraction of the arc will be given by this angle, which is length. You can consider length AB as the arc of a circle. Then we have an angle theta, which is alpha plus theta, divided by 360, multiplied by 2 pi r 2 pi multiplied by r so this is the distance that will be the distance let me focus it well so we are saying just like any other arc from a to b we the angle between the radius joining a and b then to get the arc it is that angle divided by 360 to a, just like any other arc length. Therefore, generally, we can say, in general, we can just mention that the distance between two places, the distance between two places, the distance, the distance between two places. Along which is a longitude, you know, longitudes, longitudes just like the equator, they all divide the earth into two hemispheres. So, all great circles, which are also called latitude, longitudes or the equator, the distance along them is given by is given by distance equals to an angle theta divided by 360 2 pi r this is in kilometers in kilometers or distance Distance equals to 60 times theta is in nautical miles. In nautical miles. In this case, we can say theta is lat latitude difference and r is the radius of the earth. radius of the earth the radius of the earth therefore now with this formula we can consider an example we can consider an example let me get you an example let me get you an example relating uh, such a case
we are told to find the distance to find the distance find the distance between place A Plus A, which is 45 degrees north and 60 degrees east, and B, which is 30 degrees to the south, 60 degrees to the east, in Roman 1 kilometers and Roman 2 in nautical miles. Two in nautical miles. Therefore, we got a question here, which we are supposed to look at it keenly, then we solve it. Then we solve it. So <clears throat> let's go to the solution of the question. So we can first of all sketch the two places. We can sketch the two places. This is zero prime meridian and this is zero equator then we are told A is 45 north 45 degrees north and 60 in the east 60 degrees in the east therefore with 60 degrees in the east 60 degrees in the east and 45 in the west where they meet we have plus A, then plus B, plus B is 30 degrees to the south, 30 degrees to the south, 30 south, and the same longitude, 60 degrees east. So this is where B is, 60 degrees east. Therefore, now we want to find the distance between A and B. We can say it is along a great circle, and we say it Considering the center of the earth, the center of the earth, we can join A here, like that, and again to B, such that we have formed an arc from A to B, an arc from A to B. Therefore, the angle here is 45, and the angle on the other side is 30. Therefore, the angle difference is 30, and a 45 from the upper side, giving us 75 degrees. Therefore, the latitude difference the latitude difference from A and B is 45 in the north and 30 to the south, giving us 75 degrees. Therefore, now we can start with Roman 1. Roman 1, whereby we want this as in kilometers, so it will be 75 divided by 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by r to pi r. So the radius of the earth is always 63, 70 kilometers. Therefore, we will have 75 multiplied by 2, by 22, multiplied by 63, 70. And this we divide by 360 by 7. So you find this one is giving us 8,341.67 meters kilometers. Therefore, in kilometers, the distance is given by latitude difference divided by 360 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the earth. We can check Roman 2, Roman 2 whereby we are getting the same distance the same distance Roman 2 in nautical miles, whereby we just have 60 multiplied by theta and this Multiplied by 75, whereby we get 4500 nautical miles. Therefore, in nautical miles, for 500, we have 8341.67. Therefore, that's how we calculate distances are between two places which are on the same longitude. Thank you for following. 
subscribe to Shifting Grades and share the link. Thank you.